Hello. Welcome to FGSL Woodworks. Um, today we're starting a new restoration project. What I have here is a early 1900s um, sectional barrister bookcase. Now, a barrister bookcase, um, originally known as a lawyer's bookcase, what it was was it's a it's made in sections and it allows for it to be transported um, back in the early 1900s the late 1800s if you had a lawyer uh, and the lawyer had books those books were like gold so they would keep them in a bookcase that had an enclosed front something similar to this um, because you know you don't want those books to get damaged because they weren't cheap so being that barrister is actually a, an old English word for lawyer um, that's how these became known as barrister bookcases so what we're doing today is uh, we're going over one of the sections um, this is a this belongs to a five stack barrister that uh, was made by the uh, Macy Company. Uh, like I said, it's somewhere between 1900 and 1920, so we have to take a lot of extra care with this to make sure that we do the restoration correct. Now the person that I'm doing this for they they want the old look to it so really all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be touching up some areas that are um, missing finish areas that are broken off or need to be you know repaired one way or another and so uh, the first thing that you do when you're going into a restoration or a refinishing project is you want to clean everything off and get get all the old dirt off of it uh, you don't want to use harsh chemicals that's why I'm just using um, Dawn dish soap and water and that's what I'm going to use to clean all of the the dirt and everything else that's on this so we'll be back as soon as I'm done So besides cleaning, at the same time that I'm doing that, I'm also looking over the piece to see what I'm going to have to uh, repair, um, what I'm going to have to, you know, add a little bit of stain to, uh, if there are any marks that didn't belong to it that need, you know, like there seems to be a couple little paint marks that need to come off, um, anything that. I'm going to need to do with each section of each piece. There's some, this particular one, as I close this top, which I have to clean, clean up those areas so that they, so that it moves a little bit better. But as I can see on here, the way this is, and this might just be a shifting issue or a squareness issue, but, uh, around the edges um, let me show you so around the edge here you can see that it's fairly uniform gap and then you look along here this is the center piece and as you get down to the bottom you see that it's really tight there Okay, I mean it does close, but it's a little bit tight. 
and then as I lift this piece here, which this is, it doesn't want to move right. I'm going to have to set this down again. No matter what, you don't want to force anything if you don't have to. Um, I am going to have to kind of take this apart a little bit in order to repair a couple of things um, metal wise plus clean it up and just kind of lube it up and everything and as you can see here let's go back As you can see on this side, there's a larger gap that kind of follows it, and then it expands down here in this area as well. And it tightens up in this area over here. So this shelf, um, this particular one, is a little bit out of square. Like I said, it may be the way that it's laying here, but we'll go over it as... We're going through everything. Um, let me kind of tilt this up. Alright. Let me pick this up here. And that, that helped a little bit. bit here to where it actually kind of moves okay. yeah this is doing pretty well here this one still has a larger gap at the bottom and it's still kind of sticking over here And that could be part of the reason, too, is that this has separated. So I'm going to have to repair all that. So the next thing to do is going to be repairing the areas that need to be repaired. There's a piece on this side that has broken off. You can see right here. There's general scratches and wear, but all in all, um, it's, it's in pretty good shape. So, now it's going to be taking apart what I need to take apart. First thing I'm going to do is I want to get this door off. See this this whole end is going to need to be fixed. So, let's see. So there's a section right here that is not only separated, you can see, 
it's actually cracked so I'll have to fix that but it has a little piece missing here and I'll have to see what I can do about that I think well the whole uh, the majority of the case is made out of mahogany so I do have pieces of mahogany that I can get and repair this little section here. So I'll do this a little bit at a time. finish was used but also uh, it will allow us to more closely do the piece. So I'm on the back side of the door. I'm in an area that is not really going to be noticed. How do we find out if it's shellac? Shellac is dissolved with denatured alcohol. So that's what I'm going to use to test it. If the denatured alcohol dissolves the lac or the shellac, then that's it. If not, then we'll move on to the next step, which is just testing to see if it's a lac or not. Alright, so I've got a little bottle of alcohol here. Put it, put a nice little drop on there. Let it sit for a little bit. Okay, so it's getting a little bit tacky and some of the finish has come off onto my rag. So we'll do this again. Alright, so I'll show you so you can see it a little closer. Again, put just a drop of alcohol on it. And you can see here that as I run my rag across it, I've gotten material off. And then if you feel it, you can feel that it's sticky. So that that tells me that it is a shellac finish. And so now I know what to put on this um, when it comes time. So for the moment, this is all I'm going to do. This is actually Sunday for me. I don't do a whole lot of work on Sunday because I go to church and stuff like that. So... Uh, I'm going to continue on with this um, tomorrow. <laughs>